Okay, we, have, we do have references in the Holy Quran about the modern discoveries of uh, telecommunication and uh, transport. Um, <coughs> about the uh, scientific mystery of black hole, which is mentioned in one of the sermons. Does the Holy Quran mention about these mysteries or other mysteries? I refer to the Holy Quran itself when I mentioned that in the sermon. Uh, I told, as far as I remember, in very clear terms, quoting the verse is there, which is a reference to the phenomena of black hole and re emergence of the universe. Both are mentioned in the Holy Quran, but maybe I am forgetting. I may not have discussed it in such detail. Maybe I don't remember you. Uh, you know, the Holy Quran is the same. The Holy Quran describes this phenomena in two places. That is the one place where black hole phenomena has been explained. In the old commentary, you will find the word Rathan translated as a sort of nebula, a cloud, a smoky, large, huge, shapeless, smoky appearance. This is also correct. But the two meanings of Rathan is exactly the opposite. And the Arabic dictionary is explained it as something so tightly sold that nothing can escape. So, both these stages of the universe which have been scientifically proved have been discussed, have been mentioned in the Holy Quran under the one single word. And the most beautiful thing about the Holy Quran that it has the maximum economy of words and uh, maximum meaning can be drawn from, drawn from those words. So, Kanata Rasan means the heaven and earth both were at one stage like a small ball with which the children play which is sewn so tightly that nothing within can escape. Entirely everything is enclosed there. And secondly, it says the both the sky and heaven were in a state of nebula to which we gave shape later on. So, Fatah is also applicable to both these meanings of the word Rathat. Fatah means to break open suddenly. And Fatah also means to make distinctions. So that they precipitate and uh, appear to be distinct from each other. So how beautiful the language is the, you know, in the language of the Holy Quran that in one short sentence it, it, it explains the entire phenomena of creation. So Rathan is the thing which is uh, in one sense uh, the black hole. Because uh, the definition of black hole is this that nothing can escape it. No radiation, no sound, no news, so much so that nobody knows what is inside and what the size is. <coughs> the size has been calculated by some scientists, some mathematicians, to be the tiniest that you can imagine, but it is just a guesswork. Nobody can say with definiteness how tiny that black hole is. But they can say this much, that the entire universe can be contracted to that size. And that size, once it's contracted, encompasses everything and doesn't exclude anything. With the result that it is a thing without property. There is no chemical property or physical property or any other property which you can ascribe to that thing called black hole. And if you define nothingness, that is exactly the lack of property. Anything which has no property does not exist. So it is non-existent, a form of non-existence. Some people, sometimes scientists have gone so far as to opine that that black hole disappears on one planet, on one, uh, in one dimension, 
and it reappears as a universe in another dimension of which we have no concept. So they have been uh, offering very interesting uh, possibilities, but uh, we are not concerned with them. We are concerned with the total disappearance of the universe into a black hole which is so tightly sold that no property can uh, um, be observed from outside or permitted to be observed from outside. Then the Holy Quran says in another verse, the phenomena, mentions the phenomena of recreation, recreation of the universe, and also the phenomena of mystery disappearance. Now first it is mentioned as disappearance. It says that uh, Kanata Nam Matri Yamanati Sama Katayis Sijil Lady Kuto. And the second verse is about the head, the right hand. The death has been mentioned, but there is another verse, uh, with another meaning I remember, but I don't remember the verse. It says that, uh, in, in, in the second verse here, it says that like this we will repeat. And there is another, in my right hand, I will hold. The ad in, in the previous part of this verse, the word adding has been mentioned. As if I have the universe bound round my hand, my right hand. So the verse preceding this one. Yamadati Sama Katayis Kajinri Nil Koto. Previous to this, preceding this. Anyway, this, this part, even this part of the Sahara process. When you go, kindly uh, refer to the Quran and give me the whole verse. So, uh, then Allah says, Yomanati Sama Katayis Sijili Lin Kuto. That a day will come when we will wrap around the whole universe like a person who wraps, who, who rolls his scroll. Tayis Sijili Lin Kuto. Kutub is the scroll of the old days. Scroll, books were written on long stripes and they were not the shape of the books we have today. They were long stripes which were rolled like a film. So the Holy Quran says that a time would come when we will roll the whole universe. Katayis Sijili Lin it will be rolled and packed into a small size, but the phenomena is mentioned as rolling, um, like a film, uh, like a picture film, it is rolled, exactly the same phenomena as mentioned. That I know. Uh, there is that is a different verse. I have got that in mind, but I am not referring to that at present. <coughs> so this phenomena, if you study the phenomena of a black hole coming into being and look at the pictures which have been created by scientists, you will be surprised that when the binary stars clap onto each other or one part of the binary star begins to shift on the other and then it uh, turns into a dwarf and that dwarf collapses into, uh, ultimately, into a black hole. This whole phenomena in these various stages has been described by scientists. And in the last stage, they say, 
that when the matter from outside world is detected by a black hole, it does not fall in, a, in any other way but like a sheet. And that sheet does not strike directly but gets rolled around exactly as the Holy Quran has described this phenomenon. It's the most fantastic thing, the Holy Quran has. A beautiful picture has been created by scientists and it is um, uh, manifested in the scientific magazines and books. Anybody is for anybody to see that um, illustrated by a scientist. This verse is exactly the picture of what happens according to the knowledge of advanced scientists today. Then it says, Kama Badana. So the verse means, Kama Badana Awala Halkin Doido. Now this is again a most beautiful part of this verse. It says that this has, this has happened before. And we brought you into creation, Kama Badana. So we are talking of the end, which was once, uh, but they were the beginning to end. And we are just discussing the end. We will repeat the same phenomena, and that universe which has disappeared by the process of ruling will ultimately reappear. So we don't know how many times the universe has been wound round. In, in sheets, in the form of sheets and disappeared into black holes. But we know that this has happened before according to the Holy Quran and the scientists are now conjecturing the possibility. They don't know it yet. But they know that this universe can go into nothingness again. The whole universe. And some say that because you know, the Inna La is a different phenomenon. It says that because it's spinning, and there is an end to that expansion. And ultimately it will reach a stage where it will start recontracting. And when it begins recontracting, then there is a greater possibility of a large black hole forming, which are already, I mean many black holes are form, forming already. So they are getting together and the black holes are to become so powerful as to reabsorb the entire universe ultimately. So in those, those two short verses, Allah has described those phenomena. Perhaps I couldn't uh, mention that in such detail in several because most of the audience are not scientific minded and they can't absorb all this. So, but I mentioned this briefly.